So what happens when a DJI Ronin SC and the Chain Weeble S make a baby together? You get the Fatech AK2000S. You can see that the Ronin SC and the AK2000S look pretty similar with the exception that the AK2000S has this handle over here which comes from the Chain Weeble S. So in this video, we'll be checking out the comparisons between these three gimbals. This video into two sections. Firstly, will be the specifications of each gimbal and comparisons between the three gimbals. And then from my own personal user experience after using these three gimbals on different camera setups. So what are you waiting for? Let's get straight to the video. What's up guys, Charles from 3 Tanks Dev. My channel actually does tech reviews, camera reviews, and gimbal reviews. So if these kind of things interest you, please consider subscribing. So first of all, we're coming to the comparisons between the three gimbals, starting off with the most important thing to me personally when choosing a gimbal for yourself would be compatibility. First of all, the DJI Ronin SC as compared to the Weeble S and the AK2000S, DJI Ronin SE is only meant for mirrorless cameras. So take note of that. The Weeble S and the AK2000S can take both DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. So that's a major difference the Ronin SC has. It does not take DSLRs like Canon DSLRs, 80D, 90D, 200D, 5D Mark IV and all that. This Ronin SC, if you are using a DSLR, don't buy the Ronin SC. The Weeble S and the AK2000S both take DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. So you just need to check out the camera compatibility list. So far, looking at the camera compatibility list on the chain Weeble S, it does give a lot more support to a lot of different cameras, whereas the Fatech AK2000S has a shorter list, but hopefully in the upcoming firmware updates, Fatech does include more cameras to be compatible with the AK2000S. So let's take a look at all three gimbals camera compatibility list. So you can see that the DJI Ronin SC at the moment has the most number of compatible cameras rather than the Weeble S and the AK2000S. So now we come to pricing and affordability. At the moment, the DJI Ronin SC standard kit is retailing at about 359 US dollars. The Chain Weeble S on the other hand is 100 bucks more at 459 US dollars. And the cheapest among the three is the AK2000S coming in at 349 US dollars. And I'm talking about the standard kit, not the essentials kit. The essentials kit does come with the focus motor, uh, which normally costs between 80 to 100 bucks more expensive. Thirdly, in terms of weight, the DJI Ronin SC weighs in at 1.1 kgs around there. The Chain Weeble S is also about 1.1 kg, but the AK2000S is slightly heavier coming in at 1.2 kgs. And fourthly, we're going to check out the payload. The DJI Ronin SC's payload at the moment is about 2 kgs. The Chain Weeble S payload is about 2.5 kgs. They haven't specified a valid payload on their website. It's still blank for the last like four to five months, but they did do a really heavy camera setup in the form of the Panasonic S1 with the kit lens, which is extremely heavy. So I'm estimating the payload to be about 2.5 kgs around there. And last of all, 
The Fatec AK 2000S has a valid payload of 2.2 kgs. And next up, we have battery life. So in terms of battery life, the worst among the three, the AK 2000S comes in at only seven hours. The Weeble S has the best battery life of 14 hours max. And the Ronin SC has a battery life of 11 hours. So now we come to the features. And one really cool feature that DJI came up with was Force Mobile. Basically, when you activate Force Mobile, you start moving your mobile phone around and your camera on the gimbal will start following the movement of your mobile phone. So that's called Force Mobile. It is also available on the chain Weevil S known as Sync Motion and also available on the AK2000S, which is known as Soma Sensory. Somato Sensory Enable, a really strange name there, but they all do have that Force Mobile feature. Uh, next up is the Active Track 3.0, which is really, really popular. Ronin SC Active Track 3.0 by just using your mobile phone on top of your camera. So basically, that's a uh, less hassle there, but you do need to balance your phone on top of the camera. on on top of the Ronin SE, which makes it really, really difficult sometimes if you're using a heavy camera setup or a front heavy camera setup. The chain we will ask also has that same feature, but they call it Smart Follow 2. The only difference is that in order to use this Smart Follow 2.0, you actually need to buy the image transmission module, which of course comes up to additional cost involved. So you need to get that in order to get the Smart Follow or Basically, the uh, active track to work on the Weeble S. And for the AK2000S, just to take note, they do not have that feature. So, yeah, if you need that feature, either go with the Ronin SC or the Weeble S. And then it all boils down whether your camera is compatible to which of these gimbals. And then, in terms of standard features, in terms of different filming modes, we do have motion lapse for all three, time lapse, and panorama for all three. Uh, the DJI Ronin SE has an additional feature that the other two does not have called Smart Control. Which you can actually program it to follow a specific motion or whatever you want to shoot. You can even use it to film yourself. One of the YouTubers actually did a really nice uh, video filming himself using the Smart Motion. You just need to time yourself really, really well and manage to pull it off after a few takes. And one feature that is not available on either two is available on the Weeble S, which is called Long Exposure Time Lapse. It is available on the Weeble S, basically night shots, night filming, whereby you get streaks of light. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that feature is available on the Weeble S, but not on the other two. And less of all the different working modes, they all shoot pan follow, follow mode, lock mode, all follow mode. Inception mode, basically 360 barrel rolls, uh, what we call on the Ronin SC, on the AK2000S they call it Inception mode, and the Weeble S they call it the Vortex mode. So basically all the same features and less of all also selfie mode. All three of these gimbals have these different modes, except for the last mode, which is the sports mode, as what they call it on the Ronin SC. The sports mode is available on the Weeble S and the Ronin SC, but on the AK2000S, they don't have the sports mode, which makes the axis uh, more responsive and faster so that you can film fast moving uh, athletes or players on sports and stuff. So if you need that, it is not available on the AK2000S. Yep, so basically those are the features for all three of the gimbals. In terms of user experience now we come to that portion over here so far among all the three uh, which is also a really important part besides the compatibility and the price is uh, how easy it is to be able to balance your cameras whatever cameras your heavy cameras your light cameras so which of these three for me personally after using it for a few uh, weeks a few months uh, for the ak2000s will be a few weeks for these two will be a few months at least half a year uh, among all three, which of these gimbal is the easiest to balance your cameras? Whether it's an extremely front-heavy camera like what I'm filming on right now, the, the Canon EOS RP, the Panasonic G9, or if you're going for uh, Sony a7 III with a ridiculously heavy lens. Among the three, to me personally, the Weeble S is the easiest to mount 
basically any camera setup. The Weeble S definitely take the, takes the cake for this one. Whatever camera setup I threw on this bugger over here, it may be the smallest and the most portable at the same time, but it can take the heaviest payloads at 2.5 kgs, and it can take so far any camera setup that I've ever used. And it's the easiest, even the, he the heaviest camera setup probably only took about five to six minutes, which is remarkable. Uh, the Ronin SC among the three is the most difficult, sad to say. It is the most difficult. I had the most number of problems with different cameras and you know I have quite a lot of different cameras from the Nikon Z50, the Sony a6500, the Panasonic G9, the Fujifilm X-A7 and stuff. Canon 200D Ronin SC so far is the most difficult among the three to get a good balance on a camera in the fastest amount of time. In terms of the quick release plate, the AK2000S does use the Arca Swiss uh, quick release plate. So it is the easiest among all the three if you do have different cameras that you wanna interchange between the AK2000S. So far has been the easiest to change in between the different cameras with the Arca Swiss plate. The second easiest would be the Weeble S with its Manfrotto uh, quick release plate. That is the easiest, second easiest to change between cameras. Like for myself, I change between the G9 and the A6500 and then the Ronin SC is the slowest. You need to remove the quick adjustment plate, the, the camera riser and stuff. So in terms of speed of changing between cameras, if you do, AK2000S takes the cake for that one. All right, so next up in terms of filming style, handling and the grips for the Ronin SC, basically you just need to hold it like this or like this. So if you're doing low shots, underhand shots, it will be a little bit tiring uh, after a while. For the Weeble S, the design, I absolutely love it. You can actually interchange in between like this, or if you want, you can remove the tripod or basically just get another tripod, stick it on top here, and that becomes ultra small and compact. For you to film like this, it's really, really easy to do low filming and stuff, or if you're following someone, you can actually interchange in between this and the bottom itself. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, if you want, you can get another grip so you don't have to interchange, but always use the original chain grip for this portion over here because there is a locking mechanism at the bottom here. You can use basically any normal grip. AK2000S on the other hand, you don't need to interchange in between like the Weeble S because it already comes with the handle and if you don't want to use the handle you can just use it like this so you can swap easily in between and yeah it has a really nice design as well the AK2000S forgot to mention that the in terms of the LCD screen the AK2000S has the best you know interface you have the LCD screen where you can change everything from all the setting change in between the different modes and stuff the Weeble S and it's also a touch screen as well the Weeble S is not a touch screen but you can use the dials and all that to navigate through the menu settings on the Ronin SC you don't even have any screen so everything needs to be done on your mobile phone so if you want that ease of use either get the Weeble S or the AK2000S if you don't want to use your mobile phone for doing a lot of things. You can also change the camera settings on the AK2000S, the ISO, the exposure compensation, the shutter speed and stuff. Also the same for the Weeble S. You can do all that on the gimbal itself, but you cannot do that on the Ronin SC. So coming back to the handling among all the three, the AK2000S does look the best with its rosewood finish, but it is the least comfortable to you know, do filming in it after a while. It just gets really tired, tiring because the grips, there aren't any grips basically. The grip on the Weeble S is my favorite. It has really nice uh, textured grips. So, you know, if you're doing long filming and stuff, it really doesn't tire out the hand as much as using the AK2000S. The Ronin SE is good as well, but for me personally, I find that the grip, the handling, and all that is all the best on the Weeble S. Basically in terms of video stability, I guess it's all down to a matter of personal preference. But so far to me, I think that the AK2000S does have the best video stabilization uh, better than the Ronin SC and the Weeble S. So, but that also, like I said, depends on your personal preference. For me, I like the footage coming out, the stabilization coming out of the AK2000S. Weeble S, Ronin SE, they're both all right as well, but yep, 
AK2000S. So a lot of these, I mean, among these three, there are a lot of different things to consider. But at the end of the day, to me, it all boils down to compatibility. If it's not compatible with your camera, you basically just use it as a stabilizer. You can use anything to stabilize your video. So compatibility is the key in terms of your filming style. If you like to do low pan shots and stuff, the Ronin SC doesn't have that ability to do low filming stuff. Yep, so in terms of the mobile phone applications, the best among the three would be the Ronin app, which is the most intuitive and user-friendly. The worst would probably be the Weeble S's uh, Chiyin app, the ZY app, which is extremely bad. And the AK2000S is pretty nice as well, but not as good as the Ronin SC. It is very, very nice, user-friendly. And last of all, in terms of connectivity, the AK2000S among the three is the only one that can do wireless connection. That means you can use Wi-Fi to connect to the camera. Certain cameras, not all cameras, mainly Sony's Canons, they do also, but uh, I am having issues with connecting to the Canon cameras and Panasonic's as well. So you can use Sony's Canons and Panasonic's to connect wirelessly to your AK2000S. The other two, you need to use the cable, but the AK2000S has that special feature. So that's really nice if you don't want to use the cables. If your camera is wirelessly compatible, you can use that as well. There is some a uh, little bit of issues. It does, the connection just tend to drop a bit. When I was using my G9, every once in a while, they would see connection loss, connection loss. Cables definitely will be uh, much better, but yeah, they do have the feature for wireless as well, but only available on AK2000S. So yeah, basically that was the comparison, guys. Overall, to me personally, I still, the three, I love the Weeble S the best in terms of all features, except probably the ZY apps the worst, but once you get the hang of it, you will know how to use it. It'll it boils down to a matter of getting used to. Uh, so among the three, Weeble S is my favorite. I'd like to hear from you guys what you think. If you have used any of these gimbals, what's your thoughts on these three gimbals and whether you agree or disagree with me and share with the rest of the YouTubers. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.